Annyeonghaseyo! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we are moving on to the advanced wire making techniques, okay? So I've already shown you the very basic skills or techniques. This time, we are moving framing on. a bead using a wire or a wire. By learning this technique, you can definitely create more and more projects or jewelry projects not even just jewelry even decorative pieces at home or for curtains or for christmas so if you master this i'm sure your limit is your imagination and your creativity and can create so many so many things you can even take inspiration from pinterest or even just in the internet in general so without further ado here we go Okay, so for wire framing or for bead framing, um, we are going to be using our aluminum craft wire. This one I just twisted myself. I used this number 20, I guess, or 21 um, gauge wire. This is very soft, so you don't throw. Sometimes I buy wires na mali eh, na. I, may, I buy stuff by mistake, especially if I buy online. So what I do, I just, um, what do you call this? Find a way to really use it. And I'll show you how to um, twist wires in a separate video. But you can also wire beads using mga twisted wires like this. Okay, so I'll show you first the simplest way in the wire framing or framing a bead. So, first step, of course, you're going to string it here or string your bead. Leave about an inch or it's up to you. Basically, if you really still want to use this, you can coil this or um, do whatever you want or make it a connector or an eye pin so that, you know, it acts as a bail. So, um, sorry, and dal dal ko. So, bend um, the wire and then... Hold the bead here. Pasensya na pala sa kuku ko, ah. Hold the bead here. And then, basically, we're just going to roll it alongside the bead or around the bead. So, when you get to this point sa wire, it's top. And then, pag wire, ah, sorry. Continue looping and then pagdating dito sa baba ano ba yan? sorry pagdating dito sa baba sa ilalim naman okay, so just push it around and then careful na hindi siya mag move <laughs> yan na nag move na pag nag move kasi masisira yung wire masisira yung frame mo tanga cho tingnan so again balik ka dito ilalim na siya first loop mo. Pero ibabaw pa rin nung first. Okay. Can you see? Ayan. So, from there, ilalock natin to. So, push down around yan. So, you have one. You can make so many things by learning this technique. Here, you can make Something like this. I framed this really huge, not huge, not huge, but this big crystal or German crystal. And this is now a pendant. This one as well. And this one. So you can also string or wire wrap different shapes. So yeah. Let's make another pendant. Na this time, iba iba yung shape or size ng bead. So let's do this. Wire, wrap it around again. Pag teardrop bead, I like um, locking it in right away because it doesn't retain the shape much if you don't if you just wrap it without locking. Okay, and then lock. Sorry, nakita nyo ba yan? And then, we add one more bead. Kasi you can... Ay, shucks. Sorry. So, from 
here. You leave a little space so that there's room for the wire to go around. So hold the bead steady. So, kita niya may space. Hold the bead steady. So, again, we, we won't do it like this one. Pag round, I don't lock it immediately. So, under, over and under. And then, lock. Sorry, you yeah, have something like that. And let's add the last bead. Over. Under. Under. And then. Lock. Okay. So, now... You can add one more bead on top. Alright, it looks nice. And then we can make a loop. Cut. Make a loop. Then let's make a coil around here. Cut. Sorry, bend. Bend. So you can see what projects you can make if you know how to wire wrap or frame a bead. So I'll show you a step by step, like super step by step in making a spiral like this without hurting your bead. Ah, oh, sorry. Without hurting your wire. So now, I have like an angel. <laughs> or you have a pendant. You can make this a pendant. Or an earring. Okay, now, here, I'll show you. I'm, diba, I made this, you know, with, with twisted wires, it looks more detailed when you wire, when you wrap it around the bead. So, again... This one's softer. So, this one, kasi, it's big. So, it's nice. It, sh it should, or we should lock it in place so that the wire doesn't move. So, hold it there. And then, around. And, okay. nice. If you have more, you can, if you have more, you can, Still go around one more time. Alright, it looks nicer. And then, must balance show dito. Ayan. Sorry. Ayan. And then, let's twist some more so we can use this. Alright, it looks like a rose when you when we spiral it later. Make a spiral out of this. Ding, 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 ding. Looks nice. Then If ano natin. So let's just cut this and make sure we this is intact here. Sorry. Then you can add a chain or a bail around here. Add a bail and then the chain. So we have a really nice pendant. Just um, framing the bead. Okay, you can also make 
or use the small beads or wire wrap small beads you just have to make sure that you use thinner wires so that um, hindi ka mahirapan Okay, so with this technique, I'm sure you can make a lot of projects. Your limit is your imagination or your creativity. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Please do thumbs up or like and then subscribe. Okay, thank you guys. And that's it, really. It's very simple, right? Right? <laughs> so I hope you learned something and I do hope you really share with me your creations i really can't wait to see it so thank you guys and bye please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel sorry like this video and hit the notification bell so you know when i have new videos up okay bye